Hi everybody. I'm going to draw um, a pine tree here. Uh, hopefully, um, I got some snow on the tree. But today is too warm. Um, we still have snow on the ground, but we are artists, so we have the license to to make things happen. So if I can still add snow to the tree. I'm using the wrist brush. <laughs> the tree trunk. I leave some uh, white. I can still see a little bit remaining snow on the trunk, on the branches there. So I just leave some flying white and uh, you know, leave some white and there. It's very convenient to, to use a large brush to paint uh, on the outside. So you don't worry about the details that much. And I see a big uh, hole for the sky. Yes. Keep that and uh, trunk in the front. So I just use the side of the brush to paint the foliages and uh, whatever. Capture the moment uh, the movement or uh, the rhythm you should have uh, um, the trunk in, in your mind even if you don't see that when you plant pine trees you normally don't uh, paint the the perspective like like uh, you're looking up but uh, you know it's a uh, contemporary Painting. We don't really follow the ancient rules. We, we do look, look up, a tree like that. So why not? Just paint the perspective. Okay. Now I I can add the background with uh, some lighter ink, maybe. Maybe spray some water to my brush. I could use a water container, but uh, I don't have it, so just use a spray. I don't wash my brush, just to add some water. No, I. I draw this uh, slope. There's a light. Let's do another minor tree there. Some you know more uh, forest uh, and some rock maybe. And uh, if you like, I I can add uh, add a Tai Chi master. Um, playing Tai Chi here. I think Victoria just did a video, so I'm going to. Should I draw just above here, right? Let me see. Yan Shou Hong Chui. 
So the left left foot uh, bend or no, no. Pull, right? no, So like that. This is the Tai Chi master profile. That's it? Mm. Okay. Oh, the, this tree should be different in heights, right? So, just bring it down. Spruce. Spruce. Okay. That's my uh, my painting inspired by this uh, snow scene. And uh, later we can, you know, make develop it into a, a large painting maybe. So the more trees in the background. My uh, favorite brush, the wrist brush. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going to show you the trick of uh, using white, white ink as a resist to create a snow effect. So like uh, I, if I want to save some snow white on this uh, um, hill, I just put a, a drop of uh, that and just draw with my fingers. So this will be white when you apply ink to it. And uh, let's see if I want to have something here. I just put a uh, snow like that. And if you do the tree, let me do a tree there. Finger painting, a tree, snow uh, crown, that's like that. So I will add the tree trunk there. So um, you have to wait this to dry to become um, water resist. Why we the effect I, I will show you on this uh, reverse page. I I did some white there. See, I just draw this trunk without worry about the white, and you you will make uh, snow um, in in the see this spot also. It's this uh, white ink, some texture there. So it's a very nice, effective way to create a snow effect. I'll, I'll uh, wait this dry in the car and finish the painting. Follow me, please. Hello, everybody. I'm back to my car now. And uh, I'm, I'm doing this uh, uh, special effect with uh, white ink. Uh, we applied the white ink Earlier on uh, outside the car, actually, um, I tried to create some uh, um, snow slope, like behind behind this painting. You can see that, right? So I, I applied white ink after it got dry in the car, and I, I finished the wash and uh, some you know details. You can use a light ink or color to foil out um, the white. Because I, I didn't uh, uh, really care about the, what the what what is, so it looks very random. Um, but anyway, you can see the white happening here, and if I uh, just darken the the sky, you will see some uh, tree there. So let me paint that tree on top of the mountain. Uh, you don't have to worry about what's underneath; it will 
creates the snow effect. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. And you can just go. Uh, this shape didn't work because I use I was using fingers. Um, if if you paint with a clean brush, I didn't have the clean brush, so I used the finger, my fingers to paint the the white. Um, so this is the, the the effect. You can just add some darkest uh, tone to finish. Uh, okay, yeah, that's better, huh? So let me just add a trunk to the tree. Uh, since it look, does, doesn't look like a rock or slope, uh, let me just turn it into into a giant pine. So just go up like that. And this will be a small one and some uh, some other forest. And just do. There's no uh, water. Water. Um, no ink, uh, no no white ink there, so I have to use flying white. Just to split my brush, maybe just you know skip. Hopefully, it will generate some what white there. And there, there's a white resist there, so you you can see the white will come out. Okay, so that become uh, another um, painting with the snow trees. And there should be a this look like another baby pine there. See the the resist still take some ink, but uh, it it's like a sized sized paper. Right. That's the the. Um, let me show you the ink. You can get this from uh, our online store. Where's my ink? Oh here. <coughs> this is the ink. And this is the effect with uh, that transparent ink. It will be much um, because the tone of the the ink looks darker. It will become um, lighter uh, after it dries, and then uh, you will see the contrast is a little bit more subtle, and uh, you can feel more like the actually the eyes on the on the uh, trees or on the on the ground. And here's another one with the same effect of this. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, goodbye!